There's no place like the Cube. Family, it's your favorite queer radio personality, Anna Deshawn, and this is Queer News. Your favorite weekly news pod where race and sexuality meet politics, culture, and entertainment. First, family, we have got to celebrate and let me tell you why. Sunday was the Black Podcasting Awards. It's like the NAACP Image Awards of podcasting. That's how <laughs> that's how you should think of it, okay? So it's a big deal when your people recognize you. You feel me? And we were nominated in three categories. Best LGBTQ Podcast, Podcast of the Year, and Podcaster of the Year. Well, family, we won. We won. Not one, but two awards. We won for Best LGBTQ Podcast, and I won for Podcaster of the Year. What? <laughs> like, what is happening here? Oh, like, it's an honor to be nominated. And to win, to really win, it just, it just means so much. Sometimes there's not really words to describe it, you know? It takes a lot of work to put this pod together. And I sit here at this microphone on Sundays to talk to y'all. And I can't see y'all, but I feel y'all. And every time you tune in to listen every week and I see y'all tuning in, I know I'm doing something right. And to be honored by the Black Podcasting Awards, it just means so much to me. I also have to, have to, have to thank Experience J of Just Listen Media for being our editor, our sound designer, okay, who shows up with me on Sundays to bring y'all queer news. Now, y'all hear my voice, and y'all be like, Anna, your voice sounds amazing. I'd be like, please thank Experience J, okay? She makes me sound amazing. So congratulations to you too, sis. Also, I want y'all to know we have our 10th annual Purple Tie Gala concert and silent auction coming up on Saturday, October the 7th in Chicago. Come join us. Not in Chicago. You can participate in our silent auction. This year, we're giving back to One Roof Chicago. And One Roof is so special because it's an initiative to build a welcoming and inclusive intergenerational community for older adults and young people most in need of affirming housing, meaningful connection, and career development. That's what we're giving back to. Y'all know y'all want to gear to that. Check the link in the show notes, okay? And now, if you enjoy what you hear in this episode, I want you to consider joining the Q crew. And I want to welcome our newest member to the Q crew, Justin. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you, okay? The Q crew is our queer news community. This community helps to supplement our cost of the pod. Podcast hosting, editing, marketing, PR, travel, okay. It takes money to do this thing. And so if you believe in the work we do, if you believe LGBTQ stories need to be amplified, if you love and respect how I report on the news and tell our stories, join the Kill Crew, okay? A link is also in the show notes. Now for the news. Saturday was Bisexuality Visibility Day, and I want all my bi fam to know I see you. And according to the 2022 Pew Research Center, there are more bi identifying folks than any other alphabet Q, okay? <laughs> At 62%, 62% of folks identify as bi. We see y'all, okay? I see you, and I know being bi is real, period. In other news, our Navajo fam might soon see a change in their tribal laws as they look to legalize same-sex marriage. Angelica Ross calls Hollywood out for its transphobia, and the Beehive comes to the rescue for a queer fan who almost missed the show because his wheelchair didn't fit on the plane. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we're going to have your top queer news stories for the week. Let's go. Attention, business owners, I'm talking to you. I need y'all to tap into focal point business coach Dulcie Long. Dulcie is so dope, and she has a track record of helping business owners like you make more money without having to work as hard. She's got the blueprint. And because you're listening here on Queer News, she's offering you a free coaching session and 50% off your first month of coaching. Visit mybusinesscoachesin.com. 
That's mybusinesscoachesin.com and enter Queer News Coaching into the subject line. You better go get your free coaching session so you can get that money. Let's go. Family, have you been listening to Rebound Revolution? I play the promo on the pod every single week. It is your not-so-basketball basketball podcast. Yes, it is. And guess what? It's up for a Signal Award for Best LGBTQ Podcast. And now we need you to vote. The link is in the show notes. And help us win Best LGBTQ Podcast. It is so good. If you haven't listened, go listen. That link is in the show notes, too. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm Anna. And I'm Adele. And this is the Head Nod, season one, Black Life at a PWI. It's an unfiltered take on black life in predominantly white spaces. In the process, I mean, we learned some things. Ooh, especially that music, Chile. (laughs) (laughs) Tune in every Tuesday for a new episode wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. You are now tuned in to higher frequencies. We do this frequently. Turn your radio station to E3 for that decency. Listen to great music and the latest movement. Safe listening for anyone that's tuned in. Who you waking up to? Anna Deshaun, Q Crew and Friends. It's that real talk. All live radio with the spins. You caught up in traffic, frustrated. Just check in with E3 to shift your vibrations and get elevated. That's queer radio done right. Choose to be yourself. That's the only way to live life. And that's how it's done here. We ain't worried about the other stations. Check. In political news, did you know our Navajo siblings didn't have same-sex marriage rights? I know I didn't, did you? Well, it turns out that in 2005, the Navajo tribe made same-sex marriages illegal. And the Navajos are one of the largest tribes in this country. So even though the state may recognize your marriage, your tribe doesn't. And we know that their tribe is their identity and being recognized on your own land is so incredibly important. Well, there's been legislation presented that would allow the Navajo Nation citizens to actually get marriage licenses through their tribe and require the tribal government to recognize their licenses from their states. Now, this legislation is going for a vote next week. And word is the president of the Navajo tribe is actually in favor of this legislation. So if it passes next week, then it'll head to the tribal council. It's 24 delegates get to decide whether or not same-sex marriage becomes legal. Come on, tribal council. You know this is the right thing to do. In culture and entertainment news, Angelica Ross has been trending for calling out Hollywood for its transphobia. On IG Live, she told a couple of stories about her experience on the American Horror Story set where Emma Roberts said a couple of transphobic things. First, when the director was talking to her and Angelica, right, the director said something like, come on, ladies, right? And Emma said, don't you mean lady? Oh, how do you feel, huh, Emma Roberts? Yeah, yeah, Angelica says that's what happened. And in another incident, Angelica was singing and Emma impersonated her, but then took her voice down two octaves. So I've known Angelica since she was a singer here in Chicago, right? Her and her guitar are getting it, okay? She has a beautiful voice. What? Now, after going public about this, Angelica, right? Emma actually called and apologized, which we can all respect, but Chile, what? If you have not seen Angelica's IG Live, I say go watch it. If you haven't read any of her tweets, go read them. She goes on to talk about other racist incidents that happened on that set. She talks about protesting and sitting in her trailer for hours until a situation was resolved and it wasn't resolved until she sent a tweet. She thought Ryan Murphy was her champion, and turns out that wasn't the case. There is always so much going on behind the scenes that we never see. 
And I think that with this strike, right, SAG and the Writers Guild, we're seeing truly the inequities that exist in Hollywood. And Angelica sharing her story just reiterates how far we really have to go. And in our last story for today, it's a feel-good story. I want y'all to meet John. John is a fan of Beyonce, okay? And he has been waiting 25 years to make it to a Beyonce concert. Now, the thing is, John is differently able. And when he showed up to get on a plane from Oregon to Seattle to go see Beyonce, his wheelchair was four inches too wide to actually fit on the plane. Y'all, he waited in line for the tickets, you know? He bought his airline flight. He had his hotel booked and his wheelchair was too wide to get on the plane. He took the social media. The Bay Hive went to work. And do you know what happened? They tagged Beyonce and her team over a thousand times, got their attention, and they made it happen. They got him on a flight that could accommodate his needs. And he ended up at the concert to see Beyonce and to see Renaissance. Tina Knowles even stopped by to speak and greet John and take a picture. And John took to social media and he said this, for the past, for Marsha, James, and Bayard, for the present, for O'Shea, for those who are becoming in a time that has yet to exist. We partied, we sang, we danced hard. They have you made this happen. You pushed and tagged like the internet has never seen. Tonight, for the first time ever, I had a seat on the floor for a concert. Welcome to the Renaissance. John, I hope you had the time of your life. And Beha, thank you for going to work on his behalf. He is the biggest queer fan. (laughs) And I know that's probably really hard to say because I know it's a lot of us out there. But y'all made it happen for John. John, I really do hope you had the time of your life. Y'all know I always end the pod with a word, because Anna's always got a word. And my word for today is kindness. That story about John just warmed my heart, because sometimes we get so inundated with all of the bad things happening in the world, and we hear all the negative news, and that's what gets reverberated and echoed in all of these social media chambers. But let me tell you, the kindness of human beings happens every single day. It goes unreported. Sometimes it goes unseen. Sometimes people don't even want you to know that they are being kind, right? But the kindness of people can go so far. So I challenge you this week, do something kind for somebody. Nothing that needs to be posted anywhere. Nothing that anyone else needs to know about but you and that person. And maybe that other person doesn't even know it was you. But practice kindness and I promise you, that kindness will come right back at you. Till next week, family. Peace. If you enjoyed what you heard, rate and review us inside your favorite podcasting app. This podcast is written and produced by me, Anna Deshawn. Podcast editing by Experience J of Just Listen Media. And brought to you by E3 Radio, your number one queer radio station playing queer music and reporting on queer news in high rotation. 